about to leave to go up to Oxnard and take this camera back, this one right here, playing around with it, and it's worse than I thought. And even the sound, I don't know if you can tell uh, this, but uh, the sound sounds a little bit like, but this is a, an indication of what Canon makes, then I'm going back to Sony, so we'll see how it goes. Also just had a car delivered up front. It's the new Hyundai G80 2017. Sweet. We're gonna take it on its maiden voyage up to Oxnard, so it should be nice. And I'm also working on a, a concept rendering for my truck, so I'm kind of playing around with this idea of redoing the truck, but keeping it simple, and, but make it look classy and nice. So I'm just kind of playing around with that, see what it looks like. So here's the thing, Bug. We can't take you to Best Buy because Hey, I'm talking to you. You have to listen to mommy. You have to stay here. I know. I know. <laughs> We're in the 2017 Genesis, otherwise known as a Hyundai, but it's really not a Hyundai anymore. No. It's just called Genesis. Hyundai has branched off their luxury division. It's now called Genesis, and this is the G80. Now, if you were to guess how much a car like this would cost with all these cool doodads in the car. Does it have seat heaters? Yes, it does. But it has air cooled seats too. Yeah, so you can heat up your seats or you can cool down your seats. How much do you think? Well, knowing what I know because you told me a lot of stuff. Pretend you don't know, though. Oh, just, right. just pretend that you're. $80,000. <laughs> 80000 You think this car's an $80,000 car? Well, you'd be, you'd be way out of the ballpark because it's only $53,000. That's pretty good. I'll show you guys what it looks like a little further on our drive. Camarillo, almost back at the Best Buy. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling that I probably won't buy a Sony. <laughs> well, I've I just like never had blue, trouble. Though. I like this blue color. It is blue. Well, you know what I can do is I can take the Sony and then paint it blue. You could have blue paint. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see, let's see how it goes. Let's see what they have available. Good morning. It's actually the next day we went to get the new camera, which you're looking at right now. I decided to go back to the Sony. I'll show you guys a little bit later in tomorrow's vlog exactly what this looks like. But in buying the camera, I didn't realize that I wouldn't have a camera for the rest of the day because I had to charge the batteries and go all the way home to do that. A little disjointed vlog today. Uh, that's literally because what you just saw was actually the day before of today. I had to break things up because the camera not working, the Canon that I bought kind of screwed things up in, in that I went and bought this new Sony, which you're looking at it right now. And I had to bring it all the way back. I had to charge it and it was a dead battery and it, had, it took forever to charge. So I finally got it. Right now I'm headed up into town. I'm going to meet with a guy named Rich who has a very cool motorcycle. We're gonna take a quick look at it. I'm gonna take some photos for the Surfside News and uh, talk about the history of the bike and stuff. I think you guys are gonna dig it. And then today, a lot of today is in preparation for Wheels and Waves. It's coming this weekend and a bunch of other stuff going on. I got a potentially a new book that I'm prepping, a new kid's book, and just a variety of things that are going on. So uh, let's get to it.
This is Rich, we're hanging out in Malibu. You got a very cool bike that you've had for a while. Oh yeah, it was the second time I bought a Ducati and uh, I actually fell in love with it from the first day. I bought it in 1989 and I've been riding it ever since. You've, you had the, you've had this bike since 89? Yes. Wow, so you've um, gone a lot of places. I've gone to Tennessee, I've gone to Florida, I've gone to... So I was always a motorcyclist since I was a kid and I was always riding around almost anything, but once I saw a Ducati 750 uh, Sport, yeah. it was a round case Sport, and I didn't really know what I had, but um, the guy who sold it to me actually didn't want to sell it to me. <laughs> I just thought it was so cool, yeah. I, I had to get it. And uh, and at the time, they weren't very valuable. He reluctantly sold it to me, <laughs> and then he sold me some other stuff with it, and um, it turned out that the bike was pretty nice. I actually really loved the handle. This one actually, uh, uh, it's very reliable. Yeah. It's, it's just, um, there's a lot of low stress, no no real stress on the motor. You can run it all the way up to, to red line without any problem. Yeah. And you're riding through a hurricane in uh, East Coast, going through uh, a tent, going to, through Georgia, and uh, stopping off at a diner because I couldn't see anything in front of me. We were, I was going through downed limbs. Uh -huh. um, it makes then, you a better rider. Then, yeah. Right? Oh yeah. yeah. Avoiding uh, things that will couldn't you. see anything in front of you for for quite a few feet. I would assume riding on PCH is probably simpler. Yeah. Yeah. You're, yeah. Do you're dodging a lot of uh, car. I don't usually ride. I don't like to ride on PCH with yeah. this bike. Yeah. You're a computer guy, and then you have your own shop in Malibu. Yes. Computer repair, networking. I do house calls. I do a lot of house calls. Good to know. So if you're in Malibu and you have a computer problem, this is the guy to go to. Thanks. Actually, uh, uh, Rich just mentioned to me that that model of Ducati was the last one they, that Ducati made before they went out of business, and then they were bought up by Audi, and now they're back. So, and they're very cool. All right, moving on, I got some errands to run real quick. It's a bit of a gloomy day, and on gloomy days like this, it's always important to keep your spirits up. So I might just get myself a cup of coffee. This is Justin. We're over at uh, in Malibu, and I spotted this amazing car uh, that you are putting together for your dad. Yes, sir. Tell me about this thing. This uh, this car that's to behind us is a 1957 Dodge Custom Royal Lancer. It's a special car. It's got the optional uh, D500 Hemi with uh, dual four barrel carburetors. It's one of the most powerful cars uh, back in '57. Most of the uh, you know the, the Chevrolets and, For and Fords had anywhere from 180 to 225 horsepower. Yeah. This car, however, had 325 horsepower. My dad had this car when he was in high school, so uh, I thought it would be special, you know, for me to to get him the car that he had in high school. He always uh, talked about you know this car winning all the races. I painted it. I rebuilt the motor. I put new carburetors on it. Um, I, I ordered the uh, the uh, interior from SMS Auto Fabrics. When do you plan on giving it to your dad? Uh, probably in the next two or three months. Okay, but you're thinking about doing a little bit more work on it. Yeah, I uh, I, I, I don't like the uh, gold and the the red, so I was going to change the gold to black. Awesome. Where can people go to see more about the business? Uh, it's uh, Malibu Car Washes. Um, dot com. Okay. Yeah, we have a website there, or uh, we're in the back of the we're located in the back of the Malibu Country Mart. So we'd love to, to, to have you. All right, they got other cool cars like this. Right there. Was that a cool car or what? I mean, that Dodge was really sweet. Justin, if you're watching this, bring that car to Wheels and Waves. Bring any car, I don't really, it doesn't really matter. But it's well worth it because the car is incredible. So interesting day or a couple of days, kind of how that all came apart. I also got a, uh, a, a package. I don't know what this is. Mm -hmm. 
Fireball saw that you are missing a surf bracelet on your vlog. Compliments of Touch of Modern. I'm not sure what it is. Let's check it out. Ooh, nice velvety package. Check that out. Blackjack. Whoa! Check that out. This is a beast. This is a blackjack bracelet from Touch of Modern. It's got rose gold in it and what looks like some kind of steel. Nice. Look at that. Awesome. Touch of Modern. Check them out. Okay, we are closing in on 500 vlogs, and I'm gonna ask you guys a favor. I encourage you guys on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever it is that you like the most, to share these vlogs and spread the, the love of car culture, because that's what this is. There's lots of videos out there that people do that are really good. There's guys that do incredible videos on supercars, incredible videos on, on muscle cars, and, and different things like that. But on this show, on Fireball Malibu Vlog, you're gonna see car culture. And car culture encompasses all of those things. So I encourage you guys to share these videos and uh, with your friends that, you know, if, if I do one on muscle cars or happened on, on this one that was a classic, uh, you know, share that with your friends that love classic cars. You know, kind of spread the word of car culture. It's all good all the time. In the show notes is a link to my Facebook page. Join me on Facebook because not only do you get the vlog there, you get all kinds of really cool photos, most amazing cars from hot rods, rat rods, muscle cars, the absolute best of car culture. All right, that's it for today's vlog. Big, big, awesome day. Got a chance to see some bikes, some cars, uh, a cool bracelet from the guys at Touch It Modern, Blackjack, check it out. Really fun day. I had a lot of fun with these guys. This weekend, as you know, lots of really amazing car shows coming up. I mean, there's this is a whole abundance of stuff. So stay tuned, watch tomorrow's vlog, and be sure to share. Thank you guys, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.